I'm not dogmatic when it comes to my nutrition. So I will do the carnivore diet for as long as I find that it is benefiting me. But the moment that I find that it is no longer benefiting me, I will have no problem getting off of it. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another Sunday Q&A. Today's question is with regard to the carnivore diet, specifically, why have I gone on and off the carnivore diet over the last few years? But before I start, you guys know the drill, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, ding, ding, ding. And if you don't want to watch the entire video, I will be including timestamps in the description so you can skip ahead to the section that you want. Now, onto the topic at hand. A few weeks ago, I had uploaded a video on the carnivore diet and it was on diarrhea with regard to the carnivore diet. And on that video, I got a question from Sidna Little and Sidna asked, asks, wonder why you went on and off carnivore so often? Well, Sidna, that's a good question. And truthfully, I haven't really gone on and off of it that often. I've only done the carnivore diet three times and I've come off of it twice. So it hasn't really been that much. And there are two reasons for that. The first reason is that I am not dogmatic when it comes to nutrition. At the end of the day, there is no one best diet that is going to work for everybody. And because there is no one best diet, I like to experiment on myself to see what works for me. That is the second reason why I've come on and off it. Because even though it has worked for me in the past and it is currently working, for me. I'm always looking for new things to try out because there may be something that is even more beneficial for me. So even though the carnivore diet works wonders for me, maybe there's something that works even better. And that is a couple of reasons why I have gone on and off it. Now, again, I haven't really gone on and off too often. I've only went on carnivore diet three times and I'm currently still doing it. So I haven't been off of it this time. And the first two times that I tried it, it was very, very spontaneous. I didn't even know what the carnivore diet was. I basically knew that I responded really well to high fat, that and also protein, and that I didn't respond quite as well to things like vegetables and grains. So that was why I did it the first time. I had no idea what the carnivore diet was, but back in January of 2013, that was the first time that I tried the carnivore diet. And one of the main reasons why I decided to do the carnivore diet at that time was because I eat 100% organic. And if you do eat organic, you know how expensive it can be to eat that type of food. At the time, I ended up leaving my old training position to start a new training position. So I was in between jobs and and I had to start from scratch. I had zero clients. So I had very limited funds. And because I had limited funds, there was a new store. It was an organic grocery store that opened up by my house called Nature's Emporium. And the produce at that store was very, very expensive. So it was between meats and produce. And one of the things, because they had just opened up and it was a brand new store, they had a sale going on rotisserie chickens. The sale was $10 for an entire rotisserie chicken. So I basically did two months only eating rotisserie chicken for those two months because I was limited in funds. And the reason why I went back to paleo and keto after that initial two months was because I had built up enough of a clientele where I was working about 50 hours. And when I say working 50 hours, I mean training clients for 50 hours a week and then doing additional work as well. And I had more funds. So because I had more funds, I started incorporating more nuts and vegetables back into my diet. But that is why I went on it. And that is why I came back off of it. But while I was on it, I felt absolutely phenomenal. My energy levels were great. My mental clarity was great. My strength was great. I was getting really, really lean. So I really did enjoy it. And even after I ended those two months, I was still primarily meat-based because 80% of what I was eating was meat. And then I would also have nuts for breakfast. And then I might've thrown in some vegetables for dinner, but I was basically eating meat and nuts for breakfast and then meat and vegetables for dinner. So while I wasn't doing carnivore diet, as soon as I came off, it was basically a meat-based diet that I was following once I did come off of the carnivore diet back in 2013. Now, the second second time that I did it was in April of 2015. And if you've watched my ulcerative colitis videos, you know that I've been battling with ulcerative colitis ever since 2009. In April of 2015, I ended up doing the carnivore diet for the second time. And it was immediately following my experiment with the vegan diet. When I was on the vegan diet, the last two and a half months that I was on it had absolutely detrimental health effects for me. I was getting diarrhea every single day for those last two and a half months. I was having really low energy and I just did not want to work out. I was very unmotivated. So I ended up going back to the carnivore diet because I remembered how great I felt when I did it in January of 2013. And with regard to the second time, one of the reasons why I did it also came down to limited funds because at the time I had spent $30,000 on courses. Plus I spent an additional $25,000 on my massage therapy program degree. And then I had also had to travel to and from the United States because all of my courses were in the United States. So between January and July, I had to book eight flights to and from the United States, plus eight hotels and eight rental cars. 
my funds were pretty damn low. And at the time I knew that I was getting ready to leave my current training position because I wanted to leave to dedicate full time and open up my own practice. So because I knew that I was getting ready to leave, my funds were quite low. So I ended up going on carnivore. And for the first month, I was essentially just doing bacon and eggs. That's all I ate because it's really all I could afford at the time because of all the money that I put into my courses and because I was planning on leaving my position. And then after a couple months had passed, basically I had started my private practice. It was going really well. I built up a solid clientele. And because I built up a solid clientele, I had more income coming in. And because I had more income coming in, I decided to incorporate a few more foods. So once again, as soon as I come into a little bit more money, I start adding in more vegetables. And that's basically what I was doing. Meat and nuts for vegetables and then meat and vegetables for dinner. And that's basically what I've been doing since 2013. It's meat and nuts for breakfast, meat and vegetables for dinner, which takes us to March 1st of 2020, which is this year. And the third time that I decided to try the carnivore diet. One of the reasons why I went on the carnivore diet this time around was because when I started the year, I had made a plan that every three months of the year, I was going to try a specific diet just to see how my body reacts. And I was going to make videos to give to you guys and just kind of give my feedback and give my story about how exactly I felt with these different things. And I was originally going to do three months vegetarian on my non-workout days. At the time, my workout days were days one, two, and four. My rest days were days three and five. So days three and five were my vegetarian days. And when I was doing that, I felt absolutely terrible. I had low levels of energy. I was really, really blue. Loaded. I looked like a pregnant woman after every single day that was one of my vegetarian days. So I cut that experiment one month short and decided to go on carnivore because of how great I felt. And that was originally supposed to take place in April, but I did it one month early on March 1st. Now, with regard to the carnivore diet this time around, I had only planned on doing it for three months. And then the three months after that, I was going to try something new, but I decided that because I was feeling so great, I did not want to cut the experiment early. Rather, I was going to just keep doing it until I noticed that I no longer reap the benefits from the carnivore diet. And that is basically my strategy moving forward. I'm not giving myself a set amount of time where, okay, by July of 2021, I'm going to stop doing carnivore and do this. No, I'm going to keep doing it until I feel that it is no longer benefiting me. Once I find that it is no longer effective, then I have no problem switching. And this comes back to the two reasons that I stated earlier. One, I'm not dogmatic when it comes to my nutrition. So I will do the carnivore diet for as long as I find that it is benefiting me. But the moment that I find that it is no longer benefiting me, I will have no problem getting off of it. And then the second reason, again, I like to experiment on myself. So if I find that eventually the carnivore diet is no longer working, I want to experiment and see what diet is going to be right for my body. But currently I am feeling feeling absolutely great. This is the best I felt ever since I've been diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. It has been about seven or eight months. I started March 1st and it is now November 3rd. So just over eight months I have been doing it, but that is basically why I have gone on and off of it. It's not that when I've gone off of the carnivore diet, it's because I didn't enjoy the foods that I was eating because I absolutely love eating meat. It's not that I didn't find it sustainable because of all the diets that I have tried. This is the most sustainable one that I've ever done in my life. Those are basically the reasons why I've gone on and off of it. The first two times they were purely spontaneous. I had no intention intention of doing it. And I just did it on a whim. So that is why I did it those first two times. This last time in March, this was the only time that I actually planned ahead of time that I was going to do the carnivore diet. And because it was planned this time, I think that is the reason why I am sticking to it a lot longer because I had originally planned to do it for three months. And then once the three months passed, I just decided that I was going to continue doing it. But that essentially is why I have gone on and off of it. And that's basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to make more of these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.